Hello everyone, Brian here for work to game videos and today I wanted to make a quick and simple guide to show you how easy it is to both backup and restore your Final Fantasy 14 configuration file on a Windows PC. Now this will work with any Windows PC that will run Final Fantasy 14 and if you're like me, one of the things that you'll end up doing uh, is doing this pretty often. I would recommend taking a backup of your uh, configuration at least once a month. That way it ensures that all your gear sets, all your macros, uh, any of those various little local configuration options <laughs> are, uh, are easily recovered. Uh, and so it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, simply you just need to go in to the uh, configuration section within the 14 launcher. You do not need to log in. It is not character specific. So going into there, you'll see the backup button. You click that. It's going to prompt you then with the, uh, the option to save the file. Now my recommendation is to save your file somewhere where it's uh, got a part of cloud storage, like a OneDrive or a Dropbox or something along that nature so that for some reason, uh, if your PC is uh, compromised, your hard drive is corrupted, and that file is difficult or impossible to recover, you're not left without it for any period of time. So um, that's just essentially my strategy. Save it wherever you want, name it whatever you want. I recommend the default. You can always override the existing file. Uh, I've never had a specific issue with any of that. I always just kind of replace my one file. That way I don't have to worry about which was my last backup file and having to worry about managing that. It's just as simple as hitting save and moving on. To restore, all you need to do is hit the backup tool again, click the restore option, and then select the file in this case. So uh, I'm just pointing to the existing file that I had created, but if I needed to restore, I could do that. Where this is very valuable, like I said, is both in keeping a local copy of all your information and being able to recover that if for some reason something happens or goes wrong or if you get a new computer and you want to uh, restore all your settings and your macros gear sets all of that uh, with one easy touch uh, from there if obviously you had a computer go down it's a great way to get it back uh, as well as if you happen to hop between multiple computers that's where that cloud safe storage is going to come into play and be extremely valuable one last note, you can always go in and adjust your uh, settings to be DirectX 11 if your graphics card supports it. Uh, this uh, is in the same location and you'll see that button there at the bottom of the list. So that's pretty much it. This is a short, simple, and easy guide. I, I hope it's been helpful to you. If you like this video, hit that like button uh, and let me know if you got any questions in the comments below. Uh, if you didn't like this video, well, I hear the other button works just fine. We hope you uh, subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. And uh, until next time, my name is Brian, this is Work to Game, and I hope you have a fantastic day.